A common scenario around the world in design offices um, are computers which have multiple hard drives within them. As um, as the years go by, they yeah, often need upgrades, but older hard drives can be left behind since they've got all of the uh, the programs and the operating system on them. But they need a larger drive for for data. This translates to the inventor workspace um, ending up on that larger hard drive. Um, but also the the vault workspace, whereas other computers um, have them on their main um, drive, uh, such as the C drive. The realities of this mean that you end up with uh, varying drive letters and varying workspaces, which isn't ideal when it comes to managing inventor project files, um, all of the design data associated with those. But also if you're using Autodesk Vault, um, it means you can't fix your workspace. Now there is a solution. So normally I, I have a folder called um, Vault, which is my Vault workspace, my Vault root folder. Um, but I'm I'm gonna for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm gonna create I've created one here called Vault Mapped. In there, I've got all of my design data, templates. I've also got my workspace and my single project file, content center files as well if need be. And um, and so just a, this is just a normal configuration. So what you can do is share this folder. Now you can share it with everyone if you were if you wanted to, or you can just share it with yourself, and that's it. So now we've got a a shared folder. We can come into the network drive and have a look. Double click on our computer. Now we can see that one in here. We can immediately map that. Now V is a nice convenient letter for for Vault. Um, and that's already taken up on mine. So anyway, I'll just I'll just call it um, W for workspace. And so that's the key is making sure that you pick a drive letter that isn't in use on any other computer in the office, and you just map this on on all of your um, uh, on all of your computers. From there, you can um, log into the Vault client, set up your enforced workspace. So define the working folder. We want to enforce a working folder in all clients and instead of going to C drive vault mapped we can now go to W drive and that's it. So the W drive is the working folder. And if we jump into inventor now and set our project to map drive we don't want it to be C drive mapped so we'll delete that one. We'll browse and we'll go to W and select it from there. Now we can come into Vault, into Project Explorer, and we can add a new file and add that from the workspace. Now we're able to, from a, an administrative level, enforce consistent project file for all the clients and select that map drive. Now if we log into Vault, it's confirmed that it's been set to W, so that would be the same on all computers. All of my templates are there, now all those can be um, checked into Vault and all the paths will resolve. and we're sorted so now now I'm able to check this file into vault and we're laughing and so now whenever anyone checks anything into vault and go to their working folder it's going to go to their W drive and now that W drive can live on their C drive their D drive their E or F drive whichever one you want all right I hope that's proved useful for you um, I know it saved uh, saved me in a number of situations in the past. Cheers. Bye.